this video, I'm just going to continue with the theme of having fun, because it was fun. I was flying the extra 330LT, I was flying Yosemite. It occurred to me that a lot of the racing tends to be unlimited class aircraft, but actually you can have fun in any of the standard aircraft. There's a handful of them, like the extra 330 or the Beechcraft Bonanza, I did the TBM. Let me show you how to race standard aircraft in flight plan. You could just go to the racing page, find a course that you want to race, and just download the course. And I'll need to unzip my files. Then I can go into cockpit map, and let's just load that flight plan. Okay, and it spawned us in our extra 330 at the appropriate position. Turn on my GPS follow, and we're ready to race. I guess I'll go ahead and race it with just a local lap timer enabled. I'm not live racing. I'm just going to go through and fly it with my extra 330 and my local lap timer just for fun. The instrument cluster is perfect just to put your map in the middle and you've got your airspeed on the left and altitude on the right and you get the completely unobstructed view. I spent all day racing the extra 330 but you're also moving fairly slowly in comparison to the P-51Ds. You know, you've got a second to see what's under you and you actually get a better view since you're not screaming through here with your hair on fire. You can actually look at what's going by. Not that I would recommend looking away. So I wouldn't go so far as to say it's easy, but it's easier. And you could actually play chicken with the cars. There goes George Jetson. There's a van. And it's a much smaller wingspan, so you can take a different line. I also ran it with the Beechcraft, the Bonanza. It was pretty fun in the Bonanza. About the same airspeed as the extra 330. Visibility's not quite as good. It creaks and groans, but it'll make everything it needs to make. Now the TBM I tried, I had to try a couple times because it's so fast, it'll snap its own wings off. You've got time to actually look down into Yankee Stadium. You try that in the P-51, you're done. And of course this hairpin down at the end of Manhattan, the Met Cloisters, is no problem at all. There's Columbia. This corner up here at Columbus Circle is a lot more reasonable as compared to whipping through here at 400 miles an hour in a P-51D. I'm only doing 180 knots, so, you know, half the speed. And we should be coming right out on Madison Square Garden, right there. And of course, if you want to do laps, it's a whole lot easier in the extra 330 to hit the museum there and then you can already spot the flagpole from here so you can basically just fly straight up the red brick road there to the Statue of Liberty and that hits your finish and starts your next lap. I'm not going to do another lap offline. What I'm going to do is Stop. If we take a look at our lap times, we can see here's our local lap and I hit all my waypoints and it gives me my time. So it's about an eight minute, almost nine minute lap versus the, I guess like a five minute lap for the unlimited. Now I can go ahead and start online racing. It knows I'm in the extra 330. Here's all my sport class races. Now I know there's a New York City Sport Open because I created it when I was flying this. And it's a three lap race. And I'll show you how to create one. Paris is already out there. Peaks of Europe is really fun in a extra 332. And New York City is what we just did. So if I join my open race, it's counting my live laps and I'll go ahead and do part of this race so you can see what that does but I've already run this it's a sport class race it's normal mode I'll talk about that in a minute it's a three lap race with the total distance I've run it in the Bonanza the extra 330 and the TBM which are all in the sport class you can see the range of times the TBM's a lot faster but again you can snap your wings off really easy the Bonanza creaks and groans but turned out to be faster than the extra 330 when I flew it and you can look at my laps these are all up on the web Website. But let's go ahead and race the first couple checkpoints. 
and then I'll show you how to create your own race. Now notice I'm not respawning. There's, I'm already in the correct area. I don't have to load any special flight plan to race. I just have to get back around to my start waypoint. And I want to take a big looping approach so I can put myself on the right angle for the Brooklyn Bridge, I think. There she is. We're going to peek up Lady Liberty skirts here. I guess that's a rogue, technically. My live lap started. It took away my previous races and changed the display to my live lap. So if I don't need the map, I can watch my sector times as I fly. And I made it 48.101 seconds. And then my next one is the Williamsburg Bridge. You can see they're listed right here. Turn two's Williamsburg. And I need to be right in the center of this span. And there's a little graffiti painted over. That's a nice target. 24.713. Now, you can see below, there's the best time for the sector in green and the worst time for the sector in red. I can't keep up with the TBM, but we can do a worst time. Presumably, circling back around here ought to have killed enough time that I'll be slower than any previous sector time over the Queensboro Bridge. This is where George Jetson's always going to work. Now we can play chicken with the vans. Oh, nobody to play chicken with. It took me a minute 21 and it's in red telling me that's my worst sector for me for that waypoint. All right, let's go ahead and stop for a second. If we go back to the racing page on the website, you'll also see that it's change the background color and you can see which races have live racers going but now let's say we want to race something else maybe I'm tired of New York City if I just want to join another race I can join the Paris open it's loaded the course in Paris but it's keeping my extra 330 so I've got a flight plan available to load I just need to save it somewhere and now I can go back into Flight Simulator, and I don't even have to leave the cockpit. So if I was flying along and I just hit Escape, now I can load from this PC. Okay, now we've spawned in Paris. It selected the extra 330 for me, but I can select any aircraft that's part of the standard aircraft, or I can enter any name of an aircraft. As soon as I join the race, Flight Plan downloads it from the website and changes my aircraft to whatever I currently have selected. Let's do a couple of these. Don't really need my map. I know this course. So we'll just watch our lap times. Normal mode, three laps, it's only 40 miles. Here's my race result. I've only done three laps. So there's Notre Dame. And then you need to pass over the Louvre Pyramid. And it's super easy to pick up the uh, avenue you want to the Opera House in the extra 330. And then you need to scare the nuns at Sacred Heart. Turn four doesn't have a time recorded for it. I was too far away from the waypoint. And this is another place, unlimited class aircraft. You gotta go super wide to get around this and line up for the defense arch, but in the extra 330, it's a piece of cake. I know a P-51 makes it, so there's really no reason the extra 330 shouldn't. This is my avenue straight to the next waypoint, which is on the marble floor there. Oh, you can even kind of see the ironwork. And then you pass the Pantheon, and Notre Dame is right over there. If you want to swing back around and make another lap, which is what it's waiting for me to do since this is a three-lap race. That's how to race any of the standard aircraft. Now, if you want to create your own race, there's a bunch of courses out here. I've only created a couple for my favorites, and I'll probably create some more. It's only showing the sport class race courses. If I uncheck that, it shows all the available race courses. Like, let's say I want to do Monument Valley it's an unlimited class race which I can actually join but my results won't go up in the leaderboard I can create a new race based on the Monument Valley circuit you can see it already has two races I'm going to create a new race using my sport class I need to give it a name I'm gonna say Monument Valley Sport Open because that's what I've been calling stuff but you can use whatever you want and three laps is pretty reasonable for the extra 330 although I don't know how 
how long that is. We'll go with three laps. Instead of joining the race, I'm creating a new one. And just like when I joined the previous race, now our flight plan is at Monument Valley. I've already got my extra 330 loaded. All I need to do is go back into the cockpit, load and save, and load my Monument Valley circuit. Now we're spawned in Monument Valley, ready to race here. It created a new race, again, sport class, normal mode. This one's three laps, 86 miles. So it's about the same as the New York City route. It's brand new, so there are no results yet. And you can take a look at this course. You're not gonna see this on the race page yet because currently no one's racing it. I'm just waiting to start. It's just those same three. If you hit your racing button from within game, now that's available as a choice for the sport class. So that's how to race any aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. All of these flight plans are free to download and fly. See our other how-to videos on things that you can do with them. All of the downloads, whether they're race courses or not, are free to fly for everyone. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.